I'm Nick Jonas, and this is Everything I Do in a Day. I wake up any time from around 6 a.m. to about 6 p.m. If it's a 6 a.m. kind of day, usually I'm awoken by my alarm, which I, I set two alarms. One at the time I need to be up, and one three minutes after the time I need to be up. The sound of the alarm uh, is what wakes me up in the morning. Music is too soothing. Uh, I listen to music actually while I'm sleeping. Max Richter Sleep Songs. Great album. My most listened album on Spotify, actually, because I listen to it every night. I have pretty vivid dreams, and then I like to go and look at what they mean. So most of my first Google searches of the day are, what does this dream mean? What's it dreaming about a, an organ? Not a, an organ like in the body, but a, a musical organ. I'm sort of like a spring out of bed kind of guy. I run right into the bathroom, use the restroom, and then look in the mirror and look at the damage. I take into account all of what happened the day before, the night before, and see how that has affected my general face. I brush my teeth first. Uh, not a lot of people do this in the morning, and uh, we can tell. Make sure you do that, please. I take about 12 and a half minutes in the shower. Uh, some days if I'm running behind, it's more like two and a half. I apply um, some, some moisturizing facial cream that also has uh, caffeine in it. So it awakes the skin and it's soothing too. It's a cooling cream. I then take uh, a similar sort of eye roller and I go like this under each eye and then I do just the corners up here. Following that, I will apply lip balm. I then take my cologne, I do a spritz here, a spritz here, and a spritz in the center so that I can reapply after my clothes are on. Following that, the first thing I do is I dry off the remaining parts of my body that are potentially still wet. I blow dry my hair, and then once that's done, I take my ring off, because I don't like the, the hair product in the ring. I pull the product out, first go like knit forward with it, and then up with it, and then like that, and then I exit the bathroom. I then grab some underwear, uh, preferably clean underwear, then put on some socks. It's either no-show socks, those, no-shows, or it's long socks. And if I put the long socks on and I realize I should have been wearing short socks, I get really frustrated. And I have to then get back in bed, reset the alarm, and just wait till the next day to get it right. So basically, uh, socks are the most important part of my day. I sometimes turn on uh, Sports Center and I'll watch the highlights. I get the top 10 in. Uh, I love when there's a quirky top 10 play, something about like a penguin, you know, kicking a soccer ball or, or you know, usually it has to do with like a cat running on the baseball field. That's the kind of content I'm into. If I don't find it on Sports Center, I go to my feed and I look through there looking for a funny cat video, a dog video. And my Instagram feed is an important part of my day. Probably lying if I said it's not one of the first things I look at in the morning. And then, you know, Emails. I have a lot more junk emails than uh, important emails. I also have a dog now, which is new. So in some cases, I will sacrifice my morning television or Instagram feed time to uh, try and stitch up whatever pillow he's decided to destroy that morning or clean up whatever accident he's had in the house. Um, the joys of being a dog owner. The gym for me is either in the morning while I'm fasting or I'll work out in the afternoon if there's a window. And in that case, it's usually some kind of uh, sport or physical activity where it's a workout, but combined with something that I really enjoy. So that could be anything from golfing, uh, playing some baseball, kicking a ball around backstage at the venue or playing tennis, I really like tennis. And then I either make myself a cup of coffee or I go to the nearest Starbucks, politely ask the barista, may I have an iced Americano or potentially a hot Americano depending on the season and the temperature. Or if I feel like mixing things up, I might do a cappuccino. After the coffee, I get into some kind of vehicle and I drive to a location. The location could be anything from a recording studio or a meeting. In one of these scenarios, I'm in the car, I'm drinking the coffee, and I'm listening to a musical theater show. I like to listen to musical theater in the morning because it makes me feel sort of at peace and inspired. I will finish the coffee and look at my watch over and over again to think about when my intermittent fast will be over. I will uh, then think about what I'm going to have for food. And in most cases, it's some kind of greens with a, a protein. Uh, and I'll think about that for four hours. And then lunch usually comes at about 12.30, 12.45. And I eat the boring meal that I've allowed myself to eat, thinking about how much better uh, an Italian hero with uh, turkey, um, with ham, salami, uh, lettuce, pickles, olives, oil and vinegar, and uh, a bit of oregano would have been. And I think about that until dinner comes, and I, I still don't eat the meal that I wanted to eat. I eat this other sort of like shitty meal that I'll feel better about in the morning. Immediately after lunch, uh, I will most times go back onto my phone and call 
uh, someone. And the priority list is my wife, obviously if I'm not with her, one of my brothers, probably the, my little brother that I don't get to see that much, or my parents. And then after that, this is the really exciting part of the day. I get to the venue, it's a show day. I sit down and I have, uh, waiting for me in my dressing room, two things. A bunch of posters that I have to sign that day. And it ranges from like 50 to 1,000 posters, depending on the day, which pretty heavy workload. But then next to that is a little treat, and it's uh, ants on a log. Celery, almond butter, raisins. And I eat about six of those, which takes me about four and a half minutes. And at this point, I will make myself a drink, and it's either going to be Villa One Reposado with uh, a little club soda and an orange wedge, or I'll drink a cold and refreshing Coors Light. Sort of a combination of my childhood, memories from my childhood with the ants on a log, and adult things. And then I just go and I meet a lot of people. We have meet and greets and I meet like 400 people maybe. And I say, hello, how are you? Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoy the show. Let's take a picture. They leave and we do that about 450 times. I had dinner just after the meet and greet. I come back to the room and uh, usually it's a grilled chicken, with some vegetables, maybe a little brown rice, or it'll be like a salmon or something. And there are times, and I'm, this is mostly on days off, where I indulge. In those cases, I'll have a chicken parmesan, a little gnocchi pesto, Indian food, I love Indian food, Greek food, pizza. I love all food, basically. At this point, I turn on some uh, Bollywood hits, and I listen very loud, uh, and I, I get loose with a couple dance moves, and find that the energy of the music, the drums, everything really inspires me and gets me excited. I will then, at times, post one of these, Sort of, I'll be like doing a dance and getting ready for the show. So I get back to my room, I change into my show threads. Louis Vuitton has designed our wardrobe for this part of the tour. So I throw that on. I then reapply the uh, hydrating gel awakening cream, both to my face and to my under eyes. I do another spritz of cologne. I put my in-ear monitors in. I do one more uh, sort of dance to one of the Bollywood songs I'm playing. And I walk to the prayer circle. We say a prayer or give thanks to a uh, higher power. So everyone speaks from their heart about what they're thankful for and shows gratitude. We then uh, say this thing where we go, when does happiness begin? And we say right now, and then we walk to the stage. And at this point, I will walk into my little cubby under the stage uh, and I will apply this throat spray. That sort of is like a glycerin for your throat. It makes you feel really good. I uh, walk up to this platform, which then lifts up in the air. I give a couple fist bumps to people and uh, we do the show. Post-show, I get in a car. I think about the fans, how grateful I am that they are with us and still with us. And then I play this game with my brothers, which I invented called Toronto. It's a fun dice game and it's very simple. And one day I will share with the world the rules, but it's not quite there yet. So you'll thank me once you play this game. And then, you know, I like to go out. I'm a very social butterfly. Spend a lot of time with my brothers, obviously, but outside of that, uh, lots of friends here in LA and New York that I would spend time with, and of course, Priyanka. My family has grown quite a bit. Priyanka's family will come and, and cook great Indian food for us as well, which is always really nice, especially when we're in the Northeast. My routine when my wife is around is, is far more interesting and better. And my life is more enriched, my life is better as a whole. I get home, we have some time, we'll put on a movie, maybe a Netflix show that we're watching. You know, we got our dogs now, so some cuddle time is important. If I'm not with Priyanka, I will call her for sure and say, uh, this is all what happened today. At this point, I will have get back to my room, whether I'm at home or in a hotel, put SportsCenter back on, hoping for some more funny content. If there's not that, if it's just more LeBron James highlights, I go, cool. That was just like yesterday. Before I go to bed, I will wash my face. I will apply, yes, ultra moisturizing uh, cream, and sometimes even the Tom Ford uh, serum. It's like just a simple sort of oily serum, which is really nice to rejuvenate the skin. I will brush my teeth for approximately 70 seconds. Do a little spit, spit, rinse. Reapply the, uh, the lip moisture. My bed attire is basically just my box of briefs, and that's it. I get really warm when I sleep, and so I have to keep it, keep it light. Basically, I plug my phone in, and I sleep starting on the left side. And then by the time I wake up, I'm usually on my right side. But I, I sleep very well. I sleep hard. It takes a lot to wake me up. 
And uh, I repeat this every day. This is my existence.